Good morning everybody and once again welcome to another video. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to set up centralized querying for your transactional data lake. Okay, what am I saying? In the last video, I mean, I just showed you how to read um, you know, data from cross account S3 buckets. Now, let's take a look at this one. So, let me quickly share my screen. So, again, we did that, right? So, uh, we had some S3 buckets in some another account. Consider a classy scenario, order, payment, right? Uh, each team have their own raw bucket and in the data team, you have your own data team account, AWS account, where you write all your ETL jobs, cataloging. Now for reporting or for querying purposes, I want to have a separate account, you know. So basically, I'm going to show you how to basically query your transactional data lake um, from your da data team account in your analytics account. Right, so that's that's what I'm gonna show you. So basically, cross account um, Athena setup is all I'm gonna say. So let's get started, man. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna head over to my sandbox account. Now consider this as a data team account. Um, I'll show you that I have a, a Hodi transactional data lake here. I just wanna quickly show you. Also wanna open up Athena really quick on the another tab. So let's go to the glue console. And if I show you in the database section here, you can see Hoodie DB and I have a table called employees. And again, um, uh, hopefully that made sense, right? Now, what I want to do is I want to basically query this uh, through, you know, a different account. Basically, I want to set up a centralized query account, right? I, any queries, any ad hoc queries or any anything, I want to set up in this analytics or consumer account, right? So the way you can do that is uh, you need to attach this policy. So now what this does is basically, I'll basically try to explain uh, uh, in, a, in a nice way. If you see over here, this placeholder over here, this is uh, here you wanna basically put the account who is trying to access uh, the, the Glue database. So in this case, let's say the consumer account is trying to access the data team uh, Glue database, right? So here the account number for uh, the consumer will go here. Uh, now here, the account number where your glue databases and tables are. So here you can see I'm giving access to hoodie DB employees. So basically I'm giving access, right? So what you need to do the, is basically you need to come to glue, then scroll down and then where it says catalog settings. See, I have pasted here. This one right here is the account who's trying to access my glue database in the data team account. So meaning uh, this is this is the consumer account. This is a consumer account which is trying to access the transactional data lake, which is then the data team account, okay? So hopefully that made sense, right? Um, so over here, coming to this image. So all you gotta do is, I'll leave this in the description. So simply um, paste your account number here, the, the account number who's trying to access, and then put your account number where your databases are, uh, right? So hopefully that made sense. Once you have done that, now let's head over to the next account. That is, I'm gonna go to the Sandbox Data Team. I have one more AWS account for you. Again, this account right here, guys, is the account, a consumer account, which is trying to access uh, the Glue database, which is a you know cross account, right? So now come to Athena, okay? Now on the, here, you will click on Data Source, right? Now click on the orange button that says uh, create a new data source. Now you want to click here, that is uh, glue data catalog. And then if I remember the account number correctly, uh, <laughs> then you want to click AWS glue data catalog in another account. Okay. Because it's, it's in another account, right? Now give it a name, uh, central query account. Okay. Over here, the catalog ID is essentially the account ID. So you want to give the account ID where the um, uh, where where your glue uh, is, right? So basically, database is right. So I'm gonna copy that. Come here. Hopefully that is correct. And then all you gotta do is click on next. Verify everything. And now uh, I should be seeing that hoodie DB automatically popping up. So if I go to query editor, now here in the drop down, look central query account. Look at that. There you go. Hoodie DB and employees. So let's see if I'm able to query now. And it should work like flawlessly. There you go, man. So 
basically what you have done again this is a very very common right each team will have its own aws account they are dumping data in this own s3 bucket then uh, the data team uh, engineers will have their own aws account where they're going to catalog the data they're going to create transactional data like and for query purposes we have a separate account um, you know where uh, consumers can run uh, ad hoc query consumer can run analytical workloads etc etc right so i hope this video was useful uh, um, you know, the only thing that you need is this policy. If you have this policy correctly, um, you're good to go. Okay. With that being said, thank you so much for watching. I hope you are enjoying these videos. And, uh, you know, these are very common scenarios, right? Accessing cross account S3 bucket, accessing cross account glued data catalog, set, setting up centralized um, AWS account for querying purposes or ad hoc query, right? Setting up work groups. These are very, very straight common, common um, scenarios, right? Thank you so much for watching. Uh, keep smiling and basically I'll keep the policy uh, in the description. So if in case you need it, please go and download it. And if you have any more questions, list your question in the comments. With that being said, keep smiling, keep programming. See you in the next video.